Yo, what it do, YouTube, man? It's your boy, Crollo Nasty, and man, welcome to NBA 2K24, man. And this is my first video, man. And I just want to let y'all know, man, we're about to go up, man. It's time, yo. It's time. But with that being said, yo, man, y'all are going to be disappointed in me, yo. I got to show y'all something, yo. And y'all going to be disappointed, but it's all good, yo. Just, just, just check this out. <laughs> We made a post score. Can you believe it? I made a post score. Look at this shit, yo. Look at this. But I can't show y'all too much because I got to show y'all the build, man. And in this video, man, I am going to be showing y'all the best post score build in NBA 2K24, man. With that being said, man, let's get right into the video. Yo, 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 man. What it do, you two, man? It's your boy, Crollo. Nasty, man. And we are back, man. We are back with some 2K content. Can you believe it, man? But, man, I just want to let y'all know, man. Yes, I fell to the dark side. No! Call me Dark Vader, yo. I am on a post score, yo. This is the craziest thing I've ever done before in my life, yo. At least on 2K, I should say. But man, yo, man, oh my god, do I have a lot to say about this game, man. So let's get right into it. Why did you make a post score? Why are you on a post score? Why did it become why why did this happen? What became like what was the issue? Why did you fall to the dark side? So basically, man, yo, as y'all see, man, I'm just letting this kid, this kid get a couple buckets because once he misses, the game is over. He is not touching the ball again. This build is gross, might I add, for you boys and girls, yo. This drink is crazy. But basically, what led to me making this was shooting slumps. Saying now, I'm just playing with y'all, but honestly, man, yo, 2K, yo, I love this game. This game has so much potential, so much potential, yo. This game can be the best 2K of all time. I really do believe it. But there's a lot of issues this game does have, yo, such as the delay. If you guys been on Twitter lately, you know the delay on this game is crazy. It doesn't matter how good your Wi-Fi is. It doesn't matter how bad your Wi-Fi is, yo. You will have delay no matter what. Like, I'm talking, I'll click my right stick and it will take a good, like, second and a half, sometimes two seconds for the player to do that, for him to dribble through his legs, for him to shoot the ball. And you got to think, it's already hard enough in this game to shoot. Now you got to shoot with delay? Like, come on, yo. And then you got other things going for you, like shooting slumps, which does affect your jump shot. It affects your timing and all of that. So it's just like, come on, 2K. Like, like, what is the deal here? Like, why are we going through this? We should not have to deal with this. This should not be a known issue in the game. Like, please fix it. As you see me dragging my nuts on this dude's head, yo. I'm really bullying this kid. I feel really bad, yo. Pray for him. Send him a prayer. Comment, pray for Timmy12345 in the comment section, even though I am the one using the build. That takes no skill, might I add, this build takes no skill. And I will admit to you guys right now, this build takes zero skill. But I will be honest, it is a little fun. It is a little fun to hear these kids get super, super, super mad in game chat, cussing me out, calling me everything under the sun. Yo, it is pretty hilarious. I'm not going to lie. Oh, my God. <laughs> and, yes, this is pre-recorded. But, man, yo, y'all see, I'm just killing this kid, yo, like... I don't know what else to say, yo. It, it is a little cheesy, but it is fun. Like, I'm just babying him in the paint, dunking on him. And I can't post hook too as well. But sometimes I choose not to do that because it is super, super OP, man. But yeah, man. 2K, yo. Y'all post scorers need to be patched. But until then, yo, I am providing y'all with the best post scorer build ever known to man, yo. And you guys can always play with it and adjust it to your liking because you don't want to make exactly what i make all the time because you might play a little different to how to how i play but with that being said yo we're gonna go ahead and i'm gonna show you another gameplay man we are going to hop into game two man let's get it
Drop a like only. You are enjoying NBA to K24. Man, 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 yo, there is something seriously, seriously, seriously wrong with NBA 2K24's bad system. Not only does it not make sense, it is utterly dumb, in my opinion. I don't think you should be able to lose badges at all. I don't think they should ever regress. I do like them getting rid of, ba uh, getting rid of badge points and the badges starting on bronze. But in my opinion, you shouldn't be able to lose badges. And not even just that, some badges don't work. Like, some of these badges are literally impossible to get. And on top of that, there's a lot of errors with the badge system. So you'll do something, and I've seen plenty of videos and examples of people doing this for multiple games in a row. And their badge doesn't progress at all. It will stay the exact same. Or in some cases, it will go down. Saying they haven't used it. Or as if they just lost a game. I think that is a little, just a little bit crazy. In my opinion. I think they do need to fix that. I think that system is messed up. But it's an easy fix. And if they want to fix it. And if they want to make the community happy. And not just try to steal all of our money then they can they can really do something and we can really have a great game if they just do what the community wants and that is honestly get rid of the bad regression uh, reg uh regression system at least adjust it a tad bit and make it easier to get your badges because it's literally impossible to get your badges and to be honest let me know in the comment section if you guys feel the same but i kind of feel like badges don't really matter that much this year in some cases only because some of these badges are super hard to get but the badges you are able to get they're kind of op which i kind of like so i feel like they shouldn't nerf the badges i heard some of the badges have gotten nerfed that's not correct same with like post scores obviously this video is about post scores they said they nerfed per post scores y'all see in this gameplay there were not patched P post hooks aren't patched backing down someone isn't patched it is lit post scores aren't patched so whatever you heard whatever you think i promise you all this gameplay is after the patch they're not patched and i've played comp guards comp centers comp comp everything and i'm just blowing these kids out all it takes is one miss the only way to beat a post score in this game is you have to go perfect you can't miss a shot because if you miss a shot the game is damn near over unless the post score messes up even with that the chances of you missing your shot or taking a dumb shot you're still gonna lose and especially on this build this build can guard guards pretty well i'm not gonna lie so you kind of can't miss because if you miss it's over the game is over you have no shot I, the chances of me giving you the ball back are slim to none Unless you get a super, super good contest, which is very rare. And if you know how to time your layups and your post hooks and all that, and you know how to get someone under the rim to dunk the ball, it is easy. It's literally cake. Like, this takes no skill. You can literally do this in your sleep. So anyone who's watching this video who is struggling to win games in NBA 2K24, who doesn't want a negative record, kind of like me, <laughs> make this build because... It is worth it. It is OP. It is gross. And you see me. I'm 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 ending this kid's life. Like the amount of kids that just rage quit, the amount of people who just spam square and foul out is unbelievable. This build is gross. And I recommend you guys make this build. But with that being said, man, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go to the builder. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, man, let's get into the video, man. Make sure you guys drop a like. Yo, so what you want to do when you make the build is you want to make him a power forward. You want to make him max height, which is seven foot. And you guys can change the way you can make him max weight, max weight. You can make him lowest weight. It, it, it doesn't matter. Actually, I want to make him lowest weight. And then also you guys can play with the wingspan. It really doesn't matter if I was you. I probably would change the wingspan a little bit, you know, play with it. Don't make it too lavish, too crazy. But you guys can play with the wingspan, obviously, if you want. But this is what I got. And then these are the settings right here, man. As you see, man, we have a 96 close shot. You can make that 99 if you want, but there's really no need for it. And then obviously, you know, you got your driving layup, your driving dunk, which, 
you're not really gonna use too much, but something that is important is your standing dunk, and you could max this out higher. You can go to a 92, 95, it, it doesn't matter. I just went to a 90 because I wanted to get it on gold. Same with post, uh, post control. I went to a 92, you can go higher if you want, but I just went with this, and then my mid range so I can shoot the ball a little bit. If they're playing off on me, I'm just gonna pop a quick midi, you feel me? That's all it is, you know? And obviously I can't shoot threes. You can go to the rec, you can kinda shoot free throws on this build if you know how to time your free throw. I have no pass accuracy, so don't be playing rec trying to throw the ball down the court because it's not gonna happen. You feel me? And then we got a uh, ball handling out of 50 something so we can get them pluckable, obviously. And then we got a 91 interior defense. Man, you can put this higher if you want. It's up to you. You can put this to a 92. You can put this to a 95. We got a 45 and 40 steel, uh, perimeter defense and steel. Nothing too crazy. We got an 87 block because we want to anchor on silver, which is pretty good for the most part. Like, you're going to do your job pretty good for the most part. You got pogo stick on silver as well. Chase down artists, let's be real here. You're not going to be really getting too many chase down blocks on this build because this is more a 1v1 court build, you feel me? When you want to troll, when you want to just have a little fun, just relax, you know, maybe grind the season pass or grind what whatever it is, you know? And then we have a 70 offensive rebound. You can't upgrade this if you want. It's up to you. 85 defensive rebound. You know, we get box out beast on gold. So that is a W. 51 speed. 43 acceleration. And this is very important. You guys can obviously adjust this. I would not go under 90 at all. I went to a 90. You guys can go up to a 95. You guys can go up to a 99. It doesn't matter. And one thing I will say that you guys definitely should do, I messed up completely, but make your vertical a 75, yo. It will give you Hall of Fame rise up with these settings if your vertical is at a 75. And then your stamina, anything above a 90 is good, but I went with a 95, man. And I'm just going to go ahead, yo, and we're just going to show you what this build is named after. So, boom. We got shades of... Ooh, what's it gonna be? This one's a little odd, I'm not gonna lie. Christoph Persingis, Jared Jackson, and Horace Grant. But yeah, man, that's the build. That's the two-way inside the arc finisher, man. With that being said, yo, y'all drop a like, y'all comment, y'all subscribe. Share this video to someone who plays NBA 2K24 and has no skill at all.